I also want to encourage you as we start next Monday to remember it's not about winning championships on Monday. It's about how, how to learn to live with the virus in an athletic educational environment. High school practices are just around the corner, just days away from opening all around the state of Alabama. Officials with the Alabama High School Athletic Association held a press conference today laying out the main guidelines for resuming actions and what they could expect, athletes, coaches, and parents alike. The three key points will be maintaining physical distance, cleaning equipment, and wearing face coverings. Now, these guidelines were set up by healthcare professionals as well as coaches, and officials are also urging patience with student athletes and their families. We are not back to normal. This is not a normal activity. It's going to take you longer to do what you want to do. We also encourage you to accommodate the students who are uncomfortable with returning. There are parents who are not ready to let their kids return to school. As you know, summer workouts are not mandatory or under the jurisdiction of the Alabama High School Athletic Association under jurisdiction of the local school. Please do not hold against any child the time that they miss during a workout because mom and dad weren't ready for their kids to return. Now many schools have already started to lay out what early practices will look like in the beginning stages, of course, all in cooperation with the Medical Advisory Board. We're going to have some thermometers there so we can actually check temperatures because um, we want to make sure it's not just about the one child that's there, but it's about everybody that's involved. So we'll make sure we do a really good job there. You know, once we, we'll, we'll all start off on the field, every, cat, every kid will have an allotted space to where there's five yards to their sides. There's five yards in front of them and five yards behind them. So when we start off with our activation or we're doing some kind of footwork or some kind of linear speed mechanics, whatever, everybody's going to go at the same time. So instead of being in lines, once we give a cadence, then everybody's working. So they keep five yards around them at all times while they're doing their work. Of course, practice once again starts on Monday. We'll be checking in with local teams to see how they are now all cooperating with the Medical Advisory Board in cooperation with the CDC and local officials as everybody deals with the COVID-19 pandemic.